your old NICAD power tools that have bad battery packs can run off these brand new cheap efficient lithium packs no problem it's cheap and easier than you think keep watching so here i got some of my 14.4 volt cordless power tools that i bought 15 plus years ago and i'm down to one battery pack and so i'm going to show you how i'm going to take this drill that runs off these nicad cells and whether it's 14.4 18 19.2 24 uh, there could be one more in there that uses these cells. I'm going to show you how you can run it off of lithium. Easy. So rather than reinvent the wheel, this is what I've done. I've actually bought a new power tools, and you'll see why. But it comes with a nice charger, and this will cost you, depending on the charger you get and the capacity of battery you get, this entire thing only costs about $40 to maybe $60. So I have a beautiful lithium charger it actually came with a case that I, I will not use so i got a lithium charger i got a battery and i get a really crappy drill that we're going to cut apart i'm going to cut the base right off that this fits onto adapt it to the top of this and make so the whole thing just fits into my drill just splitting the battery case and then cutting the little wire contacts to go up to the switch so i don't damage it when i cut it then we're going to put this back together and we're just going to cut it straight across. You're wondering, you're like, whoa, you're just cutting up a drill to make a drill. Well, if you have a whole power tool system, this will allow you to use them all. So now I can take this, I'll put that back in. I can take this, depth there, to that to there, and just epoxy this to here, wire them up, and everything will work. This will just slide in like a regular drill, everything else. But this drill right here, is a good drill this or some of these older power tools this is 10 times the drill this is and for this entire cost of buying this and everything else is cheaper than me rebuilding two battery packs i can't rebuild two battery packs for less than this entire setup so now we've taken one of our original battery packs and disassembled it and i've actually taken the contacts off now whether or not the contacts are like this this is a slide on battery pack or you have a battery pack that actually goes up into the drill it doesn't really matter and so pretty much all i'm going to do is connect this one to this one and this one to this one actually let's see um it looks like this side is positive so yeah just like this so this one will just get soldered onto the positive side this one will get soldered onto the negative side and then we'll just bring this down from up above or however we want to and glue this in from the bottom, attach that into there, and then we'll epoxy everything together. And then for most of my project, I'm gonna use this, quick steel, two-part epoxy. I'm very fond of it. It's just a, uh, a putty that you just cut off a chunk you need and you mix it up with your fingers, and it'll hold everything in place. So there we go, the epoxy's set up. So my thing's all set up and it's wired together. So I ended up pretty much just plastic welding it um, all the way around. And that's a fairly, a very easy process if you already have your soldering iron out. I put a little hot snot in there as well. But then I realized that the rest of the battery case, I could just hack that up. I don't need that anymore. And that actually covers everything up really nice. I got a couple screws in there down from the top to the bottom as well. And that gives it a beautiful finish. And I'll be able to, and I'll just hot snot this on as well. There we go. The finished product. It snaps on just like a regular battery and then you just put in that and it weighs about almost half as much as just this these two combined this whole assembly weighs about half as much as this NICAD pack and yeah it's just a it is just a little bit bigger I could have probably pulled it down just a little bit if I was worried about size but not two and it'll go and go and go and this 20 volts, this 14.4, I did a lot of bench testing before this where I just ran it and ran it and ran it. And it never got hot, never overheated. So it can easily handle the little bit of increased voltage. Now there isn't the same circuitry in the drill as in the old drill. So this, the old lithium drills, they shut off once the power gets too low so you don't damage the battery pack. So once the performance drops off and i did a lot of bench testing like i said once the performance starts to drop off and you notice your drill isn't as fast as it was stop recharge it but this is also lithium 
you can recharge it whenever. You don't need to wait till it's almost dead and then recharge it. You can recharge it if you drain 10%. You can just charge it. It doesn't matter. It never gets a memory. So, give it a little bit of a workout. This is just a, a one-inch spade bit. There's a piece of oak. This is just pine right below it. I got some good ump. This is a full NICAD battery, so we'll just give a comparison. I'll tell you what, my drill really likes this extra little bit of voltage. I'm gonna actually take that out. So. There you go, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll put a link below where I actually acquired this on Amazon. And again, depending on if you want a fast charger or just a, a smaller trickle charger, um, the whole kit will run you anywhere from 40 to uh, mid 50s dollars. That's, that's cheaper than you could buy a bunch of 18650 cells by itself, a balance charger, circuit boards, a lot less work. Um, and it makes battery packs usable. You see, I see a lot of people doing this, but then they're, they have different ports on the battery. They're plugging their different ports and chargers into it, and it's not a usable tool. This goes onto the charger, comes back, and then if I want more of these batteries, these batteries from Black & Decker are only around 25 bucks a piece. So that's cheaper than I can rebuild one of my beloved NICADs. So thanks for watching. I'll put a link below where you can get this stuff. I'll put a, uh, a link right after here where you can watch a video on how to rebuild these. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.